Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the easy way to turn on and turn off color fill for text. I'll also show you how to change the colors and change the stroke size for text. For this tutorial, I will be using the properties panel, which is available in version 23.4 or later. In previous versions of After Effects, the way to manage the fill and stroke of text was to use the character panel, which you can still use, but it's not ideal compared to the new properties panel. In the character panel, you had these two little swatches. So to change the color, you could double click on one of the swatches, that's fine. Then if you wanted to change between the fill and stroke, you had to click this tiny little arrow to swap between fill and stroke. And if you wanted to turn off the fill or stroke, you had to click an even tinier box, this little white one with the little red slash through it. If I click that, no stroke, but if you meant to turn off the stroke, then you had to click on the arrow to go back. Am I on stroke? Am I on fill? I don't know. You would usually just click until you got the one that you wanted. Introducing the new properties panel, which makes this very easy. The properties panel should open when you select a text layer. If it doesn't, take a look at the top. Just tick this box, auto open panel, then click this right next to it to toggle on the properties panel. Then whenever you select a text layer or a shape layer, the properties panel will open automatically. And if you want to keep this off, you can always just manually open up the properties panel. If you go to the window menu, and select properties panel. And to see the information, just select the text layer. And to manage the fill and stroke using the properties panel, just come to this middle section where it says text to turn off the fill color or the stroke. All you need to do is just untick the box. Untick for no fill, untick the stroke for no stroke. If you untick both of them, you will have no fill or no stroke. To change the colors, you can click on the swatch for the color picker for either the fill or the stroke, or there's an eyedropper right here. You just click on the eyedropper and select a new color. To change the stroke size, just come right below the color swatches. You'll see where it says nine picks. This will allow you to set the stroke width. If you click the drop down, there's some pre built options, or you can just click and just enter in a new value. And to the right of the stroke width, you can change the stroke type from meter to line join round to bevel. And one minor thing to note, at the time of this tutorial, the new properties panel does not have the option to swap the fill and stroke colors. So advantage to the character panels as it has this little arrow if you want to swap the fill and stroke colors. Otherwise, the new properties panel makes it super easy to manage your text especially when you want to turn on and turn off the fill or stroke colors. Just simply untick the boxes. And that is how to manage the stroke and fill using the properties panel in Adobe After Effects CC 23.4 or later. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.